New Orleans and Miami will be underwater within the next century as rising sea levels put more than 400 US cities past the point of no return, new study claims. Half the land mass of 414 towns and cities will eventually be underwater, the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found in a study. New Orleans stands to be the worst affected, with single quote 98% of populated land in New Orleans to be below the future sea level. Miami will also be hard hit due its flatness and limestone foundation. After Florida, the next three most affected states are California, Louisiana and New York. Extreme carbon cuts and switching to renewable energy could save millions of people, researchers said. Say goodbye to Miami and New Orleans. No matter what we do to curb global warming, these and other beloved US cities will sink below rising seas, according to a study released Monday. But making extreme carbon cuts and moving to renewable energy could save millions of people living in iconic coastal areas of the United States, said the findings in the October 12 edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a peer-reviewed US journal. Scientists have already established that if we do nothing to reduce our burning of fossil fuel up to the year 2100, the planet will face sea level rise of 14-32 feet, 4.39.9 meters, said lead author Ben Strauss, vice president for sea level and climate impacts at Climate Central. The big uncertainty is the issue of when. Some of this could happen as early as next century, Strauss told them. But it might also take many centuries, he added. Just think of a pile of ice in a warm room. You know it is going to melt, but it is harder to say how quickly. To bring this issue home for people in the United States, the study pinpoints at risk land where more than 20 million people reside. Shockingly, the research found that 414 US cities already have lock-in dates. That single quote THE date where we let the genie out of the bottle, when it's past the point of no return, Strauss told the Huffington Post. And the worst affected looks to be New Orleans. Even in a best case carbon emission scenario, 98% of populated land in New Orleans would be below the future sea level, Strauss said. So it's really just a question of building suitable defenses or eventually abandoning the city. The authors projected business as usual carbon emissions, in addition to the complication of the melting West Antarctic ice sheet, a process some experts fear is irreversible. They also considered what might happen if the world were to make a big turnaround, reaching peak carbon emissions by 2020. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.